right, y'all. New spot, part two. Woo! Week two, welcome to week two. Well, technically, I'm gonna put this into into uh, the, this week's vlog. So, yeah, this the new spot, the new Airbnb. Oh, it's a view out here. Oh, and the patio connect from the bedroom too. Cause why he just walk into my video? <laughs> yeah, cute. this is cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I want to stay next time. Right, beautiful art. The kitchen. Let's get into the bedroom. What's in this closet? The AC. The bathroom. Let me tell y'all, that lady, she ain't leaving enough tissue in that last Airbnb and she thought I was going to leave that. Nope. I'm looking a mess. Looking like yesterday. Shower. Bathtub. Nice and deep. Yo. King size bed, because we was in a queen size bed. Knowing we both seven feet tall. And... A beautiful view. Oh, I just already. <laughs> this balcony is humongous. Here we are. All right. This is almost a tragic ass vlog. Why? That step. Almost killed you? I almost went. You know how long I almost go straight to the ocean. You know, I, I looked down and I felt my shoe getting caught. So I was like, oh, it's a little step right there. <laughs> yes. This is beautiful. And I am here for it. The bridge draws up at a certain time of the day. So this one? Show that. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Yes, get into it, y'all. And we on the back side. So I'm blowing this balcony down. What? Super, like we like Ours. it, but it's better for sure. Watch out, we're getting it now. Oh, I thought it was going to go on. Yeah, toner, that was the first step. Step one. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Water probably loud, pay it no mind. I don't do stuff like this on my vlogs, but for the sake of getting the content more content we we gonna do the, the, the skincare cook up. Yeah, juke in the shower drop and stuff. It's a little divot in here. You feel that? A divot? Oh, it's a little, yeah. You know, I don't do too much moving around. Yeah. I'll be having to stand still. If you've been here for a while, 
you know that back in the day when me and Drew first started dating, I took a spill in the shower, cracked my shit, Man. had to get stitches in my hairline, cause I was in the shower at the crib at my house with no bath mat in my shower and I'm clumsy. So yeah, I slipped and I fell and the little rack that's outside the shower, bop, punctured my head. Can you see the, where is my stitch mark? It's up here somewhere. I think that's it right there. Yeah, you can't really tell, but yeah. Safety first, get that bath mat, okay? Mm. Let that layer dry. Starting to see you, they're brightening, and I, I, the whole tanning and brightening at the same time, the struggle is real. And y'all see my baggage. The, it's designer. I take it everywhere with me. Moisturizer. Focus, focus, focus on the moisturizer. Yes, Walmart brand. Cause I don't care. It's very moisturizing. Wait till y'all see me put this on my face. Then y'all know what I mean. I like to do something across the Walmart. Love this stuff. It says, um, what is it? Compared to Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer for sensitive skin. Me personally, I need extra moisture. So I definitely just put five pumps. Don't ask me how many pumps the regular people use. I don't know. But my face needs moisture. So, five pumps is what I use when I'm gonna be outside a little bit. If I'm at home doing a night time, it's probably three. But, you can already see the glow that's occurring here. Yeah. And I do all of this. Whole neck. Back to right there, right there. Yeah, all the behind the ears, all of that. Moisturizer. It feels so great going on your skin too. Yeah. The glisten. Not Hello. I just like to look like a little honey bun. <laughs> Mats out around the edges. We're gonna let this dry, soak into the skin a little bit more, and then I'm gonna finish off with my sunscreen. Always, always need sunscreen. 50 to get you right. Okay, if you gonna focus, there y'all go. You gotta do the old school hand like you on YouTube. Sunscreen, because you need that. And that'll do. I'll be back when I have all of this together. Give me a minute. All right. The hair is on. Combing her out. I love this wig because it's got such a natural texture. Me in the front been fighting because I didn't want to glue it down. So I've been trying to style like a glueless. And yesterday I ended up cutting a bang. And as you can see, my bang is really long. When I first cut it, it wasn't this long. So I'm assuming that I set the wig too far forward on my head. But uh where we at right now and it's like i could keep cutting because my layers is off on one side but i'm not gonna cut it no more 
I'll just let her live. I really wanted to go across here. I should have clipped them again. I don't know. Let me see if I can pass some scissors. I realized I was kind of back late, but boom, here we are. I trimmed my bang a little bit more. We're gonna stop fighting it. Now I'm about to put on my fragrance. I only brought, this is the only fragrance that I brought. And this is a, um, I wanna say Jimmy Choo Vanilla. If you know me, then you know, I don't wear nothing but vanilla scents. If you got vanilla in it, let me have it. Except if it's got like Jasmine or something. I'm not a fan of Jasmine. If you know something that smells like jasmine and it smells good and it's got vanilla, let me smell it. But if you want to get to my heart, vanilla scents is the way to go, baby. I like vanilla everything. Yeah, so I usually just put that on as my base layer. And it didn't come in this roll and I had to put it in there. I got a big bottle of it because I use it for my shea butter, but it's another story. Then I got this little is it swelling vanille from anthropology smells really good smells just like just some pure vanilla it's a little janky on the spray part but then i layer that on top of that yes now she smells good enough to eat her yeah so let's get into this day let's Okay, my tripod a little jank, but I'm trying to get y'all a OOTD. Even though I wore this outfit already, but I didn't have a tripod, so I couldn't show them. But I wore it regular, I didn't cross the straps, so. That's how we're looking today. Gym shoes, Nike something. Pretty little thing. I got those from ASOS. Uh, my regular little jewelry. That's about it. It's about as good as it's gonna get. Why Joy ain't never been to Sephora? This is our first time taking her to Sephora, y'all. She's talking about, I'm an Ulta girl. Ciao. I'll be at Sephora. That's what it's given. Check it, check it, check it, check it. It's y'all standing right there. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm cackling. I'm, 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 I'm. I ain't gonna finish that sentence with this camera roll. No turn except from the right lane. Oh, you can turn. Gang members and welcome to another vlog. 
It's your girl Ray. And I don't have my wig on. Welcome to another week. We are still in Miami. And I'm about to have dinner, lunch. I don't know what this is. Today is Thursday, April 4th. We just took Joy to the airport. And now we are relaxing and about to eat. We ordered Burger Fi. Never had it. We have those back in the city. Never had it. So we want to see what that's hitting for. And I'm chilling. I'm on big chill. So if y'all don't see me, y'all know where I'm at. Probably on that couch or in there in the bed. I'll get back to you when the food gets up here. Y'all, please be serious. Do you see the sunset? Oh. In real life, beautiful. I've been waiting on this all day to see this street go up like this. It's just pretty bizarre. That's pretty wild. I still don't see what they're taking through here, but it's big apparently because they had to draw the bridge. That's crazy. The street is playing straight up in the air. I found what they drawing a the bridge for y'all. It's just a little boat, but it's got a tall pole on it. I don't know if y'all y'all can't see it because it's so far away, but the boat is small. The pole is tall. <laughs> so they had to draw the bridge. Dang, they tried to close it up before I even pulled my camera back out. I don't know if you guys find this as fascinating as me and Duke do, but we're literally standing on the balcony watching them do this. This is pretty wild. I've never seen anything like this before. Not in real life. <laughs> literally traffic. Waiting to go through there. They can't wait. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Crazy. to open the bridge up. Oh, went the wrong way, boom. I assume that it's gonna open up some. Mm-hmm, cause it's all connected. And just like that, Back to, Back to normal. Here comes the traffic. The biker gone. Everybody else still sitting here. What they waiting on? Ain't no light right there. Oh, it is a light right there. That nigga said, I ain't waiting on the light. He ran that. And there it is. Back to normal. There's a car that's gonna hold through here. I was done. I was finished. The blog was complete and downloaded. Then I uploaded and got a copyright. So I'm like, all right, boom. Y'all just trim that section out. We'll be straight. And a copyright thing say yeah this might take a while so i had to just do it myself go back in cut the part where the copyright was at redownload it the wi-fi here is trash this is how slow it's going 
I don't know if that's clear because I can't see, but that says 18%. Yeah. Very slow motion. Happy Friday. First upload on the new day is going just as I suspected. A little wonky. But we'll get it together. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry your little head. We're going to fix it. We're gonna fix it. I also should probably mention the part where it's really my fault because I knew I should have muted that clip or either cut it down and made it shorter. Being lazy, I didn't. So that is what got us here. I also knew that this vlog was gonna be a little longer than usual and I should have started editing ahead of time instead of waking up today and trying to do everything. Again, my fault. Shout out to procrastination. Y'all, I promise I, I'm going to get my life together. I've been gone for a couple days. So I had to reset. I had to get back. You know, it was a long week. We was going out every day. And I don't be doing that. I be at home. So I had to reset. But y'all, sometimes you ever just be confused by what God trying to do? I told y'all I had a speaking engagement coming up. The speaking engagement is on Sunday. It's a brunch. And it's uh, yeah, yeah. it's kind of yeah, like sure. women's empowerment brunch type, you know, hookup. Um, diverse paths, something empowerment, something to that effect. And I can't help but to wonder why the Lord would put me on a women's empowerment panel in an era of my life where I do not feel empowered by women. I just don't. Like, the collective women, I don't feel empowered oh, yeah, by them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there are women in my life who empower me. Like, my sisters, my mother, my best friend, my grandmother, you know, my family members. And I ain't gonna say that that don't count, but it's like, the overall collective energy of women towards me does not feel like empowerment it does not feel like support it, it it actually feels like a lot of things opposite of that so i am very curious to figure out or learn why i am being called to do this i don't know I don't, I don't be feeling supported by the girls. Like, I don't actually feel like women like me. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think the girls like me. So it's going to be very interesting for me to try to bring value. Because I bring value to everything I touch, but it's just like, what is the value that I'm supposed to bring here? I don't have any like animosity or ill will towards women i love the girls i support the girls i share people's content i love on people oh my goodness this man is driving down the street and the concrete is falling out the back of the truck he's spilling concrete all across the bridge child just do, 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 do. <laughs> They just blowing and he just spilling concrete. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, like, I don't know. I feel like this year I should, I don't really know if there's anything I could do. Because sometimes I feel like I be making this, this little sentiment up. But then at the same time, it's like, nah, like the girls really be acting different towards me. The girls really just, I don't know what it is about me that they just don't particularly care for um but yeah i'm gonna do my best I, I decided to bring this conversation over here because this is probably the only place that i can have this conversation without people just completely judging what i'm saying but i'm sorry to say it i don't feel supported by the girls as a whole i definitely have to break the support down to particular people like, the girls don't just naturally want to pour in and support your girl for some reason. I don't know what it is, but, 
love to the girls because I'm going to still do me. I just hope I'm able to bring value to the situation. Yeah. Anywho, anyhow, anyway, today is Monday. And we are probably going to go outside because we haven't been outside in like two days. Um... Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. we probably go to the pool. I know that. We haven't been to the pool at this resort yet. Um, and kind of just soak up the sun and enjoy these last couple of days before we head back to the city for a moment. It's giving very much touch down and leave. Um, I also got voluntold to do something at church before I left. Well, when I left. So I don't know what that's going to be. We'll figure that out. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't be in Detroit because Detroit don't support me either. So I'd rather go somewhere warm and enjoy the weather than sit there and try to force Detroit to support me too. Um, and to all the people that support me individually, I appreciate y'all so much. Do not think that I'm ever referring to you all when I'm saying people don't support me, like, people support me. We're talking collective energy. They're, the, the collective energy just don't be there for the squad as in general, not just me. But, yeah, enough of that. Because it is what it is. And I'm going to do me regardless. So, I will talk to y'all a little bit later when... I um get dressed and whatnot and look presentable because I don't know what I'm looking like on this clip right now. But yeah, until later, holla at you, girl. And since this video will drop before the actual panel, I will show y'all the flyer for the panel so you all can come and support if you're in the city of Detroit. Excuse how dirty my iPad is, but yeah screenshot that to get the details because this is where i will be yeah 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 and no shade though to my golden girls okay i hope y'all don't i hope y'all knew exactly what i was saying in the last clip and this does not get misconstrued love to the girls love to golden a women's networking organization love to lanaya the president i love to the ladies on the panel i can't wait we're we're gonna gonna we're gonna figure it out. I don't know what I'm supposed to be giving, but we're gonna figure it out. Greetings, gang members. How are thee? Let me tell y'all how we just came to the pool all of maybe five minutes ago. There were at least ten people here, and the niggas have cleared out the whole pool. Nobody wants to stay down here now that we're here. Everybody's slowly packing up and leaving. Don't you just love being a nigga? So now we're gonna have a pool to ourselves because it's Florida, so of course there's racism. People be racist without even trying. Why you look over here at us, gather all your things, and decide to leave? Riddle me that. No, 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 you looked at us, looked up at the sun, and then gathered the stuff. And gathered his things and left. And then everybody else just slowly started to... And I feel like if we move anywhere else, that is anywhere slightly closer to the people that are on the other side of the pool, they too will make their exit. I didn't come down here for none of these people. I'm not sure why they felt like they needed to leave when we got here. <laughs> also, this is the view from the pool. So they have the pool next to the water. And yeah, that's the bridge that we see from our room. And yeah, we're just out here vibing for the moment. We probably gonna move over there where the sun is in a minute. I don't know. I gotta get some pictures off. You know how I do. So yeah, we'll be out here for a little second and then we'll move on with our, our day. Who knows what escapades the last day in Miami is gonna bring. I haven't been on the vlog like all week because I've been chilling. I didn't really record nothing because I've just been maxing and relaxing. Really wasn't that for y'all to see. Um, sometimes you just gotta clock out of everything. Just enjoy your moments. Because when I get back, I have to go back to work. So, 
kind of just soaking up the vibes of you know staying in this little apartment with a little balcony with a view you know what i'm saying woo 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 good weather just chilling chilling i mean lay up watching tv snacking smoking chilling playing my game on my phone minding my business love that for me. Here is the other closer view of this uh, ocean vibe we got going on here. Very nice. Boatman, boatman. Because then I can do this. Tighten up. Bumping. We love to see it. Everything expired. The wind expired. The wind about to blow my phone into the ocean. My nails popping off. Everything expired. That's because the trip over. I don't like that. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do for my hair. For this panel. I'm thinking about doing a quick weave, but I don't know if I have the, the patience. Yeah. Yeah. She's cute in theory. She's not gonna make it till Sunday. No. I already know. We have a guest. As you can see, he is moseying on down the dock, minding his business. Let's hope he don't scurry this way, cause I, I don't, I don't, I don't like critters. But you probably can't see on this video how green he is. You can see how long that tail is, though. Like this. Look at him. That cinematic view just be tripping sometimes. Here we go. Buddy Long, look at his tail. God, I gotta watch him till he gone past me because I don't want him to. Then, of course, we got the billboard coming through. It's a lot of things in Spanish around here. It's a wild view. Our buddy, the iguana, the ocean, a billboard. Go on about your business, my buddy. He was bobbing his head. That little boy scared him. He had to take off a little bit. That's wild.
back into the shade we go. Damn, it's you hot probably, over there. You definitely darker from the first video, from the first game. I got a tan. You can't see nothing. Oh my goodness. Yes, you can. Oh my goodness. Yes, you want it too. That's you know, I mean. that's the complicated part. When you wear these little complicated tops, then you have complicated fans. That's all right. Because we came out here to get brown, and that's just what we did. <laughs> Gotta make sure our little iguana buddy don't run up on me. Since our last tap in, we've got a lot more gas at the pool. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Just chilling, vibing, enjoying the breeze. I had to pick my bag up off the ground because a little buddy was scurrying around. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. It's probably windy. All right. that y'all probably couldn't hear me because the camera was so far away and we also have the babies at the pool. Let me sneak and give y'all the view of what I'm looking at. This is the far away view so you can't accuse me of getting y'all on camera. Can't nobody see them for real but this is what's going on here. The balcony back up, putting the furniture back where it was. Um, yeah, it's currently Wednesday, April something, and we are about to get ready to check out of here. It's 9 a.m. We got to be out by 11. Um, and we're gonna head straight to the airport. Our flight is at two. And I am not happy about it because I love this view and this little apartment in this resort. <sighs> but at least it was 75 in Detroit yesterday. So hopefully that weather stays when we get back. But I'm really gonna miss how beautiful and warm and vibrant Miami has been. As y'all know, I spent the second leg of the uh, trip in this apartment because, don't ask me what that writing is. I have no idea. But I spent the, the second leg in this little apartment because it's just been a vibe. Like I just been laid up, vibing, chilling. Love that for me. Yeah. So let me give you guys a last look at our beautiful view before we get up out of here. There we go. Get the full. Yeah. Yeah. 
yes. Yes to all of it. So sad that I'm leaving. back in Detroit back at home back to your regularly scheduled program I am settling into bed getting ready to get ready for bed our evening smoke sesh I just you know wipe down in the kitchen and whatnot shut this floor down getting ready to close up shop for the evening um me and Juke got back around 5 o'clock this evening, came home, dropped our stuff off, and went straight to the studio. Straight to the studio, because your girl got an album, an EP, I should say, that has to be completed by Saturday and submitted. Yeah, so we're, we're in crunch time. I got one more song to complete everything else is done then it's gonna be in Jupe's hands to finesse up and i have to do my cover art and that'll be that move volume two loaded i'm excited this is a smoke project it's coming out on 420 fingers crossed um yeah you know these move projects just been vibes we just been vibing so i'm excited for y'all to see the new vibe <laughs> Yeah, I'm tired, y'all. It's been a day. My alarm went off at 7.30. It's almost 1 a.m. Thursday. Yeah, so I've been up since 7.30 yesterday. I am tired. Um, I'm actually probably about to crack my laptop open and work on this cover art real quick just for a little, little second. Get it started, because I got to do my cover art. Then CJ asked me to do one for him. So, yeah. This vlog is probably shorter than the last one. Probably less exciting than the last one. But your girl is very relaxed. I'm chill. I'm ready to get this work in for Move Volume 2. I'm ready to kick it in and kick it up. So, I don't even care. I don't even care. Um... Next week's vlog is you'll get the footage from the speaking engagement that I have on Sunday. Hopefully I can get enough footage, you know, to make something of. But yeah, I will chat with y'all later, gang, tomorrow when I get up. Whatever I get into, writing that song is number one, getting that song done. But yeah. I will see y'all tomorrow. Well, gang, let's go ahead and wrap it up. We're going to go and wrap the vlog up for this week. If you made it this far, you a gang member at this point, you might as well subscribe. Join the gang. Yeah. I'm about to have dinner. I'm going to show you guys that. And then... I'm out of here. I'll catch you on next week's vlog. So here we go. Cherise cooked. Baked spaghetti has never looked any better. Broccoli. Garlic bread. Yeah, that'll do it. So until next week, I will see y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Appreciate you so much. And um. Yeah, holla at your girl.